Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to use the VLOOKUP function to search an employee database using ID numbers. Now if you'd like to get this worksheet or workbook that you see here, you can go to teachexcel.com, search for the video tutorial, and download it there. So what I've got here is I have a sample employee database right here with um, information for each employee. And um, obviously in the real world you're not going to have it on the same tab makes it easier to do this example though this way and what I want to do is create a little form like this basically that's going to allow me to enter the employees ID number right here and then return that employees first name last name job email and phone number now this is um, a VLOOKUP explanation tutorial so that means that I'm going to essentially give you a walkthrough of the VLOOKUP function I'm doing approximately three of these tutorials so there are two others that go really slow and I'm going to go through all the VLOOKUP syntax and walk you through. So if you already know the VLOOKUP function this is not the video for you. So let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to put the VLOOKUP syntax right here and so if you need this throughout the tutorial you can use it as a reference. One thing to note at the end range lookup is in brackets that means that it is not a necessary argument. I'll go through that in a second. So anyway, this is our table right here. This is our entire table. And now, though, I'm going to zoom in to make formulas a little bit easier to see. Let's go in. Nice and big. OK. So let's put a VLOOKUP to pull in the first name first. OK. So the VLOOKUP syntax is going to be equals VLOOKUP, open parentheses. Now we got a bunch of arguments we have to fill out. The first one is the lookup value. Now about 99% of the time the lookup value is going to be contained within a cell. The value we would like to use to look up our employees is the ID number. The ID number is going in this cell right here. Now I'm going to hit F4 on my keyboard to put dollar signs in front of the column and row right here. That just means that if I copy this VLOOKUP formula that will not change so this cell reference won't change. So our lookup value is the uh, ID numbers for the employees because that's what we search the table with. We're going to search this table with ID numbers. Okay, now the table array. The table array is going to be the entire table that has the value you're going to look up as well as the value you'd like to return. So our table is going to be all of this all the way over and all the way down so we want to include everything all the way down to the phone number now I'm gonna hit F4 again so that this table does not change when I copy this formula that's simply making this an absolute cell reference that's what the dollar signs mean now the table array is very important because well it contains the data you're returning but also it has to contain in the leftmost column the, the lookup values. So how the VLOOKUP works is it's going to take this lookup value from cell A2 and it's going to search the leftmost column of the table array for that lookup value. Then when VLOOKUP finds that lookup value, say ID number 111, it's going to go to the right within the same row to return one, the data from one of these cells. So it takes the lookup value, searches in the left column, finds the value, then within that same row it's going to go to the right to return a value from one of the cells in the table array. So the next value is the column index number. So I just put a comma after the table array, now we need the column index number. right? So we got our lookup value and we have the table array. So we can look up in the left column here and we know what we can pull from the table. So now we just have to tell the VLOOKUP formula, well, what column do we want to return the data from? Since we're doing the first name here, we'd like to return data from the first name, we need to go to the third column. For all VLOOKUP tables, the very first column, well, it's going to be the, where the lookup values are, but this is the first column. There is no such thing as a zero column. So ID number is column 1, last name column 2, first name column 3. 
So since we want to return from the first name, our column index number is 3. Comma. Now this is very important. This is the range lookup. So the range lookup is going to um, tell your VLOOKUP to return an approximate or a true or an exact match. Now if you select an ex approximate match, if the VLOOKUP cannot find your ID number, it may return a different person's ID number. If you set it to false, if the VLOOKUP cannot find that ID number, it will simply return an error. So it's very important in this case to return or to have an exact match because if we enter the wrong ID number, we don't want to get someone else's information. So now we go ahead and hit enter. And we get an error because we have no ID number here. So let's go ahead and um, type in the ID number 444. So we got this guy's first name. ID number 444. Went to column 3. Returns judge. Now, to do the VLOOKUP for the last name, I'm going to go through this a little bit quicker and then show you how to copy it to the right. So VLOOKUP for the last name equals, let me take this bold off real quick, equals VLOOKUP, open parentheses, our lookup value. Well, we want to use the employee's ID number to look them up. So our lookup value, this cell right here. I'm going to make it absolute, so hit F4, comma, now our table array where are our lookup values and all the other data located? Well, right here. So let's go ahead and select that. Go back up. Now I'm going to hit F4, make that absolute so it will not change when I copy the cells, comma. Now what about the column index number? This time we want the last name. Okay, well the last name is in column 2. So we go column 1, column 2 the second column of our table array, comma, range lookup. I want it to be exact. I don't want to be getting someone else's ID or someone else's info if I type in the wrong number. I'm going to close that and hit enter. So then we get his last name, Judge Dredd. All right, so now you see how that works. And if I change the number over here, we can get different information. So the last thing I'm going to do is just copy this over. I'm going to click this cell, grab the quick fill handle, and copy it over. One thing to note though, the column index number did not change. So we have to update this. The jobs in column 4, the email is in column 5, and the phone number in column 6. So that's another example uh, or walkthrough of how to use the VLOOKUP function in Excel. Now if you'd like to get this workbook and everything you see here, go to teachexcel.com, search for the video tutorial, and you can get it all there. So that's it for this tutorial.